Hello guys, I'm Tinkor from the Tinkor Key Mapper and I'm going to demo uh, how to make a small mapping for a game called uh, Pocket Legends. I think this is going to be a nice example on how to use my application. A uh, user recently asked me for some help and uh, yeah, I'm going to demo it with this game. So the first thing, the first thing to do would be starting the mapper. Um, you can see that initially uh, the mapper does a hardware detection and it will try to show you any already connected gamepad or, or keyboard or mouse. If it doesn't show, it may be for different reasons. If you have any doubts, just send me a, an email and we'll try to find out what's going on. But on, on, on this uh, side configuration area that you can show and hide by, by tapping on the screen, you should see all the found devices and uh, uh, in this case you have here the NVIDIA controller. Uh, it has the icon of a joystick, it's a gamepad, and uh, yeah, and you see the name. Each, each device has a different color. Um, well, anyway, the first thing to do would be just minimizing the mapper. So uh, you can go into your game and yeah, just, you just start your game normally. I hope it works. Okay. Play as a guest. Uh, this game, I think, doesn't have yeah, doesn't have access to the notification area. So to open the mapper on top of it, uh, you will need to uh, uh, use a key sequence that's uh, pre-configured on the mapper already. By default, is volume down, volume up, volume down. In the case of the shield, this is a bit different, but uh, I will just uh, demo telling the volume down, volume up, volume down. Uh, on this game, you move the character by uh, touching here, and then you have a number of other actions like uh, yeah, um, attacking and other things. And then you can move around your point of view by uh, dragging on the on the center of the screen. So let's open the mapper. So I will follow the sequence of three keys. So it will be volume down, volume up, volume down. So one, two three and there we have the mapper okay now we can just to get most space we can just uh, tap and hide the, the configuration area and we just move the controls and they will show in the center of the screen and then we just place them so I move one stick one analog stick I make it a bit smaller and I just place it here okay now I, with the A key for instance I'm going to attack with a big key, I will use this uh, special power, let's say. And then there are uh, some potions, um, another special attack here, and then we can just use L1 for an extra potion. Um, here we have some sort of uh, uh, configuration in the game, so we can use maybe select for that one. Um, select. Uh, and uh, yeah, and for instance, let's let's see how it goes for now. Okay, so now I click on apply, I give a name, I accept, and now, yeah, now the character moves and the character attacks and uh, does his things. Uh, still, we can see some some problem is that, for instance, how do we move around uh, in the screen? How do we change the point of view and besides we have some menus that are pretty complicated where we just select things and, and it's difficult right so it looks like um, something like a mouse would be would be nice to use so uh, let's go for it I'm going to click the sequence again one two three here we have it and I'm going to map the uh, right stick to what I call hybrid pointer which is a bit like a mouse but touches the screen instead of instead of uh, uh, clicking like a mouse right so um, here I have my my uh, analog one and now uh, here we have the operation mode preselected which is touchpad we just click on it to change it and we move uh, uh, down to touch uh, you, you can see there are a lot of different uh, operation modes and we have one which is touch uh, hybrid pointer here. Yeah. The icon also, the widget changes a bit of shape, so it can be handy also to know what's going on. 
and uh, we still need a button to 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 simulate the actual the actual click. So I'm going to use uh, R1 for that. I keep it pressed and it will scroll to it. See R1 and the same operation mode would be uh, touch hybrid pointer. So I touch here and we already have a hybrid pointer. Um, I accept. And what happens now is when we, when we move the uh, right stick, we have this blue circle. And when we click on on uh, R1, it just uh, uh, touches the screen on that position. So we can essentially do do everything that we could do with our finger. We can do it with a, now with a stick and a button. So if we want to do the point of view thing. Well, we do the same. And we want to use the menus. We just uh, click on them and select the inventory, whatever. Okay. So we can just go back to the mapper if we want. And uh, essentially that's it. So yeah. And the, this profile is already saved, so uh, yeah. If you make your own profiles, uh, bear in mind that uh, to be able to upload them to the central server mm, where they can be shared by all the users, uh, these profiles have to be full screen. And so you have a nice profile for a game and you want to share it with uh, everybody else. There is an option here called Share Profile. So you click on it and select, for instance, email, and uh, yeah, that will generate an email that you can send me, and I will upload that profile to the central server. I hope this helped you, um, and if you have any questions or whatever, just drop an email, and I will try to help you. Uh, have a nice day.